הקדוש בוקר אור, מסכת קידושין דף ל"א עמוד א', סזר גמרא. We're talking about the entire concept over here about that we know that a person will respect the mother more than the father because she comes, she does some good things, she says closer. So therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu to do a kibud for the kibud av before the kibud em. And everyone knows that the, the child is more afraid of the father than the mother. So therefore did the opposite. It first told you Mora Ha'em before the Mora Av. Meaning that HaKadosh Baruch Hu came and he did it purposely in such a fashion in order to get out of any problems. So Tani Tana Kameh the Rav Nachman. So we learned a bright like Rav Nachman that he says, Bizman she'adam etzayin et aviv et imo. When a person comes and he's going to make his father and mother suffer, Amen HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Yafeh asiti shilodarti benehem. It's good that I didn't live amongst them. Shil maleh darti benehem. Tziaruni, because if I would have lived amongst them, so then what would have happened is that they would have actually caused me to suffer. Right? This, he says over here, it's uh, on Lamed Amu Bet. He comes and he says, Yara 49. He comes and he says, ah, because if you're going to be Meshatef, right? If you're going to come and you're going to Mechabed the Shutaf, so you're maybe Mechabed the Shutaf Shlishi. Right? So therefore that's what we know. Okay? So that's the entire concept. So, Im Zachu Abayim Legadel Ben Kasher HaMechabdam Kalacha And therefore he says, Ki'ilu, right? And that's why they come and they're going to also, I, I lived amongst them. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, says Rabbi Yitzchak, Kol HaOver Avera Basete, Ki'ilu Dochek Ragle HaShechina. If a person's going to come, they're going to do an Avera in a hiding, they're pushing away the legs of the Shechina. Shlemar Kol Mar Hashem, HaShamayim Kisi, right? The Shamayim is where it's thrown as, V'Aret Sadom Raglai. So you see here that the Raglea Shechina are where? In Tzayim Ba'aretz. So therefore he comes and he says, however though, that's what we're trying to say. So I'm going to show me, he says, we're showing me, Asul Adam Shialech Arba Amon Bekoma Zekufa. You're not allowed to go Arba Amon Bekoma Zekufa. Shlema V'Sez Bechuk Melok Olan Eskimedo, which means the Kvod HaShechina is also in Aretz. And therefore if you're going to come, you're going to be Holech Melok Komato. So it's like you're pushing away, right, the Shechina. Rav Huna Beredu Shua, right, Lo Maski Arba Meot Begilu Erosh. Right, he wouldn't go Arba Mot also without Gilu Erosh. Amar Shechina Lamar Lom Roshi, because he used to say that the Shechina is above my head. And therefore, since the Gilu Erosh is like a kind of like a an audacity, right, that you're going with Gilu Erosh. So that's why it was uh, such a thing. Okay, there's uh, going to be a machlok in the poskim anyway. Is it only midat chasidut? Is it mamash midat adin? You're not allowed to go with Gilu Erosh nowadays. Anyway, it could be changed halacha. Because who got to go in? But anyway, that's just where it's coming from. Really? Yes. Sha'al ben almana achat et rabbi Eliezer. So the ben almana achat came and she asked Rabbi Eliezer, Abba Omer Ashkeni Maim. Imagine right now the father says, Give me to drink water. The Ima Omer et Ashkeni Maim. And the mother says, Give me to drink water. Ezimem Kodem, who's first, the father or the mother? Amalei told him, Anach kevod imecha, v'aseh kevod imecha. You have to leave the kevod of your mother and do the kevod of your father. So, Shata ve'imecha hayavim bechvod avicha. Because they're both obligated to serve your father. Which means, since there's a chova for the mother also to come and to serve the father, so therefore the child has to serve the father. Bali, from Rabbi Yeshua, they came in Rabbi Yeshua, Amalei, he told him, Kach Amalei, Rabbi, right? He says, this is what Rabbi said, but nidgar shamahu. What happens if she gets divorced? You could tell that you're an ayatom, right, from, the, from between your eyelashes. Because basically there was so much tears that came out of his eyes, right? So therefore you could tell, right, and that you're doing it, which means he, he understood that he was, a, he was a yatom. So therefore this case of a, a grusha, nidgarsha, was not really a question that he was saying. So Rabbi Yeshua comes and he tells him, he could tell that really be is a yatom. So you're not asking it, why? Because your father is not going to, you know, the father is not going to come and start asking him to do something. So what is he trying to do it? Right? He comes and he says, he comes and he says, says like this, he says, you're going to come and you're going to put it, right, with this, that is, we're going to be equal. And he says over here like this, and you're going to make it, right, just like you're going to put it in front of them, the water is like the Tarnagolim, which means that's the, the sound that they make. I don't know how you say it in English. They basically come oh, and make your, yeah. your crew, 
the crow, you know, the, the way they crow. I think it's crow, actually. C-R-O. C-R-O. What? I'm going to tell you something so darashkula rabba apitheya de benesia ula rabba which is ula gadol he came and he was doresh on the entrance of the benesia my dikhti what does it mean in the pasuk yorucha yoducha hashem kol malche aretz ki shameu im refiha what does that mean they're going to let you know or the yoducha is to say thank you to hashem right who's going to do that kol malche aretz because they listen to Im Reficha. Ma'amar Picha, it doesn't say Ma'amar Picha. Ela Im Reficha. Im Reficha is Nashon Rabin. What's going on? When Hashem said, Anuchi lo yelecha, right, which are the first two of the Ten Commandments, Amru Mot HaOlam, Lichvod Atzmo Doresh, says what? He's only doing it for himself? Meaning, right, God is only worrying about himself? Kevin Shemar, but once he said, Kabed HaTavi Chavet HaMecha, then they went and they agreed to everything that was before. Meaning they thought, Kilu, that imagine right now you're going to come and you're going to make laws, bylaws, and everything has to do with you. You're going to say, Iowa, what's going on? You're like, hey, what's it? Ah, now you said, now they said, you want? The first two were also correct. It's good. And that's why they said on Imre Fichan, Lashon Rabim, because it was two different um, Aseret Adibrot. Rav Amar, Rav comes and he says, Mehacha, there's another Pasu. The Pasuk says, Rosh Tevarecha Emet. Rosh Tevarecha, but no soft Tevarecha. He says, what? It's only the Rosh and not the soft. Ela mi soft Tevarecha, but rather from the end of your words, Nikar she Rosh Tevarecha Emet. Meaning from the Kaved HaTuvicha V'Temecha, now you understand that the first two, which is Anuchi Hashem Elohi Elecha, were also going to be correct. Ba'u mine me Ravula. So they came and they asked from Ravula. Ad heichan kibud avaem. Until when is it going to be the mitzvah av? Kibud avaem. They went and they said, Look what the Ovek did in Ashkelon. Dama Benetina Shemo. His name was Dama Benetina. Ha'am Ahad. Bikshu Hachamim Frak Matia Beshishim Ribo Sachar. Do you know that they wanted to buy from him a schora of 60,000 or whatever it is here, right? We're talking about, <laughs> of, yes, right? And of the reward, which is basically, remember that the ribo is 10,000, so 60 times 10,000, which is basically 600,000 dinare zahab. Just imagine the amount of money that we're referring to here, right? Just much more than just stam, right? The keys were underneath the pillow of his father. The lot si'aro, and he didn't awaken his father in order to get it, which means the guy could have made a fortune. And what happened? He's not going to wake up his father. There's nothing like that. So, Amar of Yudom Shmuel, it says of Yudom Shmuel, this is another Nusach, Shalu et Rebiliezer, they asked Rebiliezer, they asked Rebiliezer, they asked Rebiliezer, until when is Kibudavayim? So the first one was Rav, right, asking Shalu uh, Meravula. Now we're talking about Shemuel. So Shemuel, Shalu et Rebiliezer, Right, this is a view that Shmuel comes and said, "They asked him, 'Liazer, until when is Kibbutz Avim?'" But let me told them, "Tzuru masako oveko kolim yichal laachviv veashkelon." Tavam and Tina Shmuel, because they menu echachamim avanim laefod. They wanted a stone for the efod, which was going to be the six hundred thousand golden coins. Rav Kahana matir, Rav Kahana came and he said, "Bishmonim libo eight hundred thousand, not six or eight hundred thousand." Rav Tumunat Chacham Shmuel says, "Shel Abba, Shel Aviv." Right, and the key was underneath the pillow of the father. The Lot si Aro, and he did not make his father suffer. Meaning, he didn't wake him up. And the Shana Achad, the next year, Adam Gosh Baruch Hu Secharo, Gosh Baruch Hu gave him the reward. So you really see from here, by the way, a Musara scale, something incredible. Some people, they want the reward immediately. Some people want to see the reward immediately. Here, it was next year. I don't know if people realize that. Meaning it took a full year until Kosmur who came and he paid him back. And he had a paraduma that was born to his Eden. They told him, he says, I can ask whatever I want from you. And you're going to give it to me. So I'm only going to ask you the exact same amount that I lost because of the Kvod of Abba. Meaning he could have come and he could have asked for millions. He already knows. Paraduma, who's not going to pay for it? <laughs> they're going to pay, they're going to get all the money in the world to pay for it, right? But he says, I'm only asking you what I lost last year. And that's it. So who gave him his award as, uh, as it was before. Somebody which is not Mitzvah Vosei, because remember that Anochri is not Mitzvah Vosei, this is what Akash Baruch Hu is going to give him the reward. Mitzvah Vosei, 
Alacha kama vechama. Remember that somebody that's mitzubeh ve'oseh, he's got much more reward. Tamar bichanina, beseza bichanina, gadol mitzubeh ve'oseh, mi she'eno mitzubeh ve'oseh. It's much greater. A mitzubeh ve'oseh, much more than somebody which is not going to be mitzubeh, mitzubeh ve'oseh. The reason why is because already Tosafot already says it. Why? Lefi she'doeg u'mitztayel yoter pen ya'avor. Mi she'eno mitzubeh, she'ish lo pape selo, she'lo yitzay yaniya. Which means there's a bigger yitzara. If a person right now comes and he already knows he has a way out, he doesn't do it. Why doesn't he do it? He doesn't have, he doesn't have such a big incident to do it because if he did it, he did it, didn't do it, didn't do it. It's like a volunteer. You come and you tell a volunteer. A volunteer is not the same as an obligation. Once you have an obligation, you feel much more uh, obligated to do it, so therefore you're going to get much more reward. So Amar of Yosef says of Yosef, Menesh Amina, right at the beginning, I had a Ham Amina, Manda Hava Mali, that somebody that came and would tell me, Halacha Kirib Yudah, the Lachaza Kirib Yudah, Tamar Suma Patur Mina Mitzot. Suma is going to be Patur Mina Mitzot. Avina Yom Tava Le Rabbanan. I will make a Yom Tov Le Rabbanan. The Halo Mifkada Mifkadina Avina because I wasn't commanded to do it and I was still doing it. Bahashd Ad Shamit Aleha Rabbanan. I just heard that that which will be Chanina said. Kadolam Mitzuvah Ve Osei Yitomim Shulzum Ad Rabba Man Dami Le De En Alacha Kirib Yudah. I will make a big Yom Tov Rabbanan if the Halacha is not like a Yudah. Meaning at the beginning, he went and he said, the Svara was that if I'm not commanded to do it and I'm still doing it, look what a tzaddik I am. I'm such a tzaddik that even if I'm not commanded, I'm still doing it. But now that I just heard the words of Rabbi, Rosh, uh, Rabbi Hanina, that Rabbi Hanina says, Gadol Mitzvah Vosem Mishalom Tov Mitzvah said the opposite. I will tell you the Halacha is that if somebody is going to tell you the Halacha is not like a Yudah, then I'm going to make a Yom Tov Rabbanan. Kiyata Ravdimi, when Ravdimi came, he went and he said, Pa'am ma'achat ha'yi aya lavush sirkon shel zahab. Ravdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babel, and Dama Benetina, right, was wearing a sirkon shel zahab, which is basically like a golden clothing. Yerushem Ekdolei Romi. And he was standing, right, he was sitting with all the Doli Romi. Ubata imo ukrata mimeni. His mother came, she tore it, betavcha lo ala rosho. She hit him, yarka lo befanav, and she spat at him, and he didn't do anything. So therefore, obviously here, right, that, um, okay, we're just seeing until where is the kibud of the mamash, that they're, he's, he's with all the gdolim, with all his friends, with all the gold clothing, tore it, but we don't hit know him. She did uh, what? We don't know why she did that. We don't know. But the fact so that the she point. did that, the point that he didn't do anything is the fact that until where does it go, kibud vayim? Yeah? So, Tani Avim Egrad Yavu, Yesh ma'achil aviv pasyone v'tordo min ha'olam. Yesh matchino barechaim, yeah, u'meviyo l'chayo l'am abba. Right? What does that mean? He says that there's a type of a, a person that he's giving his, his father the best, la creme de la creme. He's giving him a mash, like, you know, like an off, chashu, shaman, everything. So it's kilu, he's a mechabed otu, no? But really, be'emet, it's going, he's going to get punished on it. Right? Why? Because they're not Sarah and he's being beside his father. But some person is going to come and he's going to put his father there on the mill and everything, which is, uh, you know, it looks like he's being Zazel before David. And he's bringing him to Chaye Haolam Abba because basically he's showing him the Melacha is something that he needs. Right? That, uh, you know, that, 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 that's what they need to do. So therefore, it all depends how you're doing it, which means everything depends upon the Kavanah, the way that you're doing it, how you're doing it. So very, very important. Yeah, 31B. Amar Abiyavu, Amar Abiyavu, says Abiyavu, Amar Abiyavu, Kegon Avime Beri, for example, like Avime, my son, Kayam Mitzvat, Kibud, he actually was Mekayim, the Mitzvah, Kibud of Ahem, properly. Why? Chamsha Bene Samche, Right? Havale. He had five banim, which were smuchim, which were, they were going to have, they were, yeah. they had the semicha of the rabbanut. Right? Lavim ebechaye aviv. Echi hava atu rabiyavu kariyabave. So even so, when rabiyavu used to come and call at the entrance of the house, and avime, rahit vazidu patachle, used to come run and open the door himself. And he didn't let one of his sons to go in front of him. The amar in in, and he used to say yes, yes. Immediately add the matayatam until he used to get to the door, right? So therefore he's coming and he's showing, right, that the um, this is what he's trying to show the mitzvah, how he's being mekayem, the mitzvah of kibud avaim. Okay. He used to run and do it. Okay. So Avime used to do it. 
Okay, then he says, Yom Achad, Amale, one day he comes and he says, if Yavu comes and he tells of Yime, Ashkira Maya, give me, give me water. When he brought him the water, he fell asleep. He stayed there the entire time until he woke up. So it wasn't like Akilu, he woke him up. He stayed there standing the entire time until he woke up. He stayed in Minta, right? And Mina Shamayim, they came and they helped him with the Rasha Vime. And Vime came and he said, Yeah, this is a Mizmor of Tilim. Right, that he didn't understand it beforehand, which is Mizmor Ain Tet, and now they actually helped him to come and to yeah. understand it, which means yeah. in yeah. right. Mizmor Asaf. So he comes and he says this. He says, "This is the one that we say on Shiva Sabbat Tamuz." Yeah, this is Tchina. Ma? Is it Tchina? It's not B'diut Tchina. It's a Tilim, right? But he comes and he says that beforehand he didn't understand it. The fact that he actually came and he did this Maase for his father, he now understood it. So Amalei Rav Yaakov Baravua Labaye says Rav Yaakov Baravua to Abaye he goes Ana da da Tina mi Berav right that's for example myself that I used to come home from the Beit Midrash Abba Madli de Kasa right the Imam Mazgali so my father would come and bring me a cup of wine and my mother would bring me water for it right because they used to love me Hechi Yavid what am I going to do now am I allowed to come and accept the service so imagine my parents are coming and they're serving me am I allowed to accept this Amalei he came and he told him Mi Mach Kabel Meavuch you could receive it from your mother. Because since she wants it, that's her kavod. Her ritzona zehu kevoda. That's Tosfo Triyazakeh. Right? And we're going to actually say that. Because they're kvodom mochul. Right? But he comes and he says, but from your father, you cannot accept it. Because since he's a ben Torah, and he's a tamil chacham, we're going to suspect that there's going to be chalishat, chalishut adat, that you are accepting it, and you're not being mechabed, Oto, right? Why? Because he's also a ben Torah, and he's also a Tami Chacham. So therefore, Kino is like, why? You're accepting it from him, and you have to accept and respect him, not to, the mother, she's doing it out of love, and that's what she wants, right? That's what he says, Ritzona Zeu Kevoda, right? Her Ritzon is her Kavod. Okay? We shouldn't, we shouldn't serve our kids. Rabbi Tarfon, Havale Ayu Ima, right? Rabbi Tarfon had, right, an M Zekena, an elderly mother. Every time that she wanted to go to bed, Gachin Vesalikla used to bend down and pick her up to go there. When she used to come down, Nachti Lave, she used to go down on his back. Which means Mamash, like he was like the step. So he went and he was saying in front of the Pachamim, this is what he was doing. Right? You still didn't do half of the Kibud of him. Did she ever take all your money and go and throw your, your wallet in the, in the yam? And then you didn't do anything? You just, uh, you know, kept quiet because of her kavod? No? So if you didn't do that, nothing. Rav Yosef, when he used to hear the voice of his mother when she was coming, he says, I'm going to get up because of the Shekhinah, which is coming. I mean, basically, since like a person is obligated to get up in front of his parents, so he's obligated to get up in front of the rabbi. So Rav Yosef, he was, he was blind, and therefore he couldn't see that his mother was coming. So therefore he used to, the second he used to hear her coming, meaning that the way that the, her feet, the way that she walked, was he knew her footsteps, the way that she would walk. So therefore he used to come and he used to get up. Okay? So Amar of Yochanan, says of Yochanan, Hashem Yishelo Chama'an. Fortunate is somebody that did not see them, which means fortunate is a yatom that never saw his father and his mother. Why? Because that means he won't get punished for not actually serving his parents properly. So imagine, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan, when his mother became pregnant, right, Metaviv, the father died. Yelato, and when she gave birth, Metaimo, meaning that, that the father died right when she conceived, and the mother died at birth. The, the, same, the same thing happened to Abaye. So imagine, Rabbi Yochanan and Abaye, they were Mamashi Tomim Legamre, not only just from one parent, from both parents. Okay? So says the Gimara, Eni, is it so? Abaye, Abaye comes and he says, Amra li em. My mother said, so answers the Gemara, no, that M was not his physical, meaning it's not a natural mother, biological mother. It was like a stepmother. So that's why he says it all the time throughout Chas, right? Abaya says, my mother told me. It wasn't his real mother. It wasn't biological mother. Yes. So Rav Asi, Rav Asi had an elderly mother, Amrale, right? And she came and she said, I want Tachshitim. Avala, so he went and made her tachshitim. Baina gavra, I want a husband. Niayin lach, we're gonna look for one. Baina gavra, the shabikavatach. He said, no, I want a husband 
which is very handsome like you, right? So now he already knew that she already, her head wasn't there 100%. So what's, what's, what's he going to do? Shabka v'azlaradi said, so she, he went to Eretz Yisrael. Shama de kaza batre, then he heard that she's coming after him, right? So Atta le kamedar v'yochanan, he came from v'yochanan, and he wanted to ask, can I go out to Chutzaretz in order to greet the mother? I don't know. So Ravasi waited a little bit. He came in front of Yochanan. Right? Do you what? I see that you really want to go to Chutzaret. You should go in peace, right? To Babel, basically. Which means Rabbi Yochanan thought that, you know, the Ta'ut, that Ravasi now wanted to go back to Babel. And to take care of his mother and not to go out to, you know, come back basically. You understand? So basically, it was Kilu, you know, he went, to, okay, so go, you know, go back to Babel. You know, he didn't uh, realize that it was just that he wanted to find out, can I just go out to greet her? So Atta le Kometer Biliezen, he came in front of Biliezen, Amale, he said, Chasr Shalom, Dilma Mirtach Ratach, right? Maybe I'm going to be, he comes and he says, maybe I'm going to be angry on uh, Rabbi Yochanan, right? That he wanted to go out to Chutzaretz to Eretz Yisrael. Rather from Eretz Yisrael to Chutzaretz. Amale, what did he tell you? He says, if he was upset at you, he wouldn't give you a bracha. Meaning the fact that if he was upset, he wouldn't give you a bracha. The fact that he gave him a bracha, it means a what? That obviously that it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't uh, huh? No, why is he going to Chutzaretz? If he's only in itself, why is he going? So obviously he wasn't going to be upset. Right? At the end, what happened? He heard that it was actually the Aron of his mother. Meaning that when his mother was coming to Eretz Yisrael, right, they were actually bringing, she was Niftira, and therefore they were bringing her Aron to Eretz Yisrael. Amari said, Yade lo nafke. If he would have known, he wouldn't have gone out of Eretz Yisrael. Meaning that he already started going out to uh, out of Eretz Yisrael, and then what happened was that she actually passed away. So he says, if he would have known that she actually passed away, right, he wouldn't have come now. Why? Because it's it. You understand that? He, why is he going out now? What was the purpose? Fine. You have to be mechabed daorim also during the lifetimes and also after the death. He comes and he says, if the Anshe Makom know the Dvar Mesulam that his father listens to, and they're going to accept it. So therefore he comes and says, Don't say, ah, they're just sending me for, me for myself. Right? Ella rather, right, it's for my father. That means even though if they're going to give them the kavod, right, to the father. Right, he says all these things you're doing it for my father, meaning it's a kavod to the father that you're doing it for the father, not for me. Meaning, I need something, I'm not gonna come, I'm gonna say, Ah, you know what, do this for me. No, 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 do it for my father. Do everything for the why because you're placing the kavod in the father. How is it now after death? He says, If he was saying something in his name, he should not say, This is what the father said, this is what the father. Right, says, Adoni Avi. Right? And he would finish off by saying, Adeni kapara mishkavo. That he's saying that it's a kapara for him. And he mean one of these words, Tok Shilem HaSachodesh, only going to be within the 12 months. Likam ve'alach, but after the 12 months, Omer, Zichrono levracha lechaye haolam haba zilha. Right? Zayin lamed ehe. Zichrono levracha lechaye haolam haba. Tan Rabbana, we learned to the Brayta. Haham, meshane shem avi veshem rabbo. Right? If he's going to come and he's going to meskir alacha in their name, and he's not going to say the Shem Aviv, the Shem Rebo, the Filush, but he says, Kachamar Abamare or Rabbi Mori, right? Bara Turgeman, that's how he's going to say it, which means that he's not going to say Mifurash, but he's just going to say this, and that's it. This is, by the way, in, in any person, because it's a suit for anybody anybody to come and say the name of the father. Okay, but he says, if they don't know him and they ask him, who, who, who's your father? So then you're allowed to say, Ani Beno Shel Rabbi Ploni, right? I'm the son of, right? So on and so forth. Okay, and that's how you're supposed to say, by the way. Okay. Um, he comes and he says, Turgeman, right? Eno Meshane, Loshem Avi, Loshem Rabo. Right? The Turgeman is not going to change, not the name of the father or the name of your rabbi. What's your father's name? You just made a mistake. Pay attention. No, you said no. You said when when we bring I just said it. Pitre Chuva bring down. Ani Beno Shel Abamore or Shadabi Ploni. So I say, Avi Mori Moshe. What's my name? Avimori Moshe. It's my, my father. Huh? If, if what? I said Avimori. I didn't say Rabbi. Avimori. My father, my master. My master. My master. My master. So this you're allowed to? 
that you're allowed to do. But you have to say it like that. You don't just say uh, Shlomo. You say the name. But you have to say <laughs> like that. <laughs> so now says the Yimana, Avua de Man. What are we talking about right now? The father and the, and the rabbi of who? If you're going to tell me it's the rabbi, the father of the Turgaman. So I took the man what he you know, the Tugaman was the was the uh, the orator. He was the one that used to come and give over the speech. Because remember, the rabbi was the rabbi, and then they had like a political guy that used to come. That was uh, eloquent and used to come and speak very nicely. He would come and give over the the shield from the rabbi. So the rabbi would tell him, and then he would come and he would make it all nicely with the puff and the delivery and all the you know all those things. You understand? So here, Elam Rabbi Barada Rabbi says. Shem Aviv Shel Chacham Shel Rabbo Shel Chacham. He's not going to change the Shem Aviv the Chacham Shel Rabbo Chacham. He had the more Beravashi. He had the Darish Pepika when he used to come make, make the Drasha. He who Amar he used to say a Bamare va Amare and the Metugaman used to say Hachem Beravashi. This is what Beravashi used to say, meaning that he wouldn't come and change the name because this is more Beravashi. So more Beravashi used to say a Bamare, right? My my father must. But the Metugaman wouldn't say a Bamare. No. He would say no Ravashi. This is what Ravashi said because obviously he was allowed to say it. What is considered Mora? What is considered Kibut? Mora lo omed bin komo velo yoshev bin komo. So you're not going to sit in this place and you're not going to stand in this place. Velo soter devarab. You're not allowed to contradict his words. Velo machrio. And you're not allowed to come and you're not allowed to be machria his words. You mean say like, ah, it looks like this or it looks like that. You know, Kibut. What is Kibut of Aem? Ma'achilu mashke. What does that mean? You give him to eat, you give him to drink, you put him in the clothing, you cover him, you bring him in, you bring him out. All those things are considered kibud. So kibud is the concept of the respect. The mora is the concept of fear. So the fear is, I'm not going to sit in this place. I'm not going to stand in this place. I'm not going to contradict his words. I'm not going to be machria his words. That is called the mora. What is the kibud? We just mentioned kavod. So we're going to ask the following question. Mishalmi, who does he have to give to eat from? From his own money? Or from, he could give it from his father? So Yudah Amar, Rabbi Yudah says from Mishal Ben, from the son. And the Tambar Oshia Omer, Amar Mishal Av, from the father. And we continue with Zerat Hashem tomorrow.